We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Spirit and the Church cry out, Come, Lord Jesus. All those who await his appearance pray, Come, Lord Jesus. The whole creation pleads, Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, Lord God, to prepare the way of your only Son. By his coming, nurture our growth as people of repentance and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, we hear these words. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Here ends the reading. When it has been very dry, the scent of water is tantalizing. It promises renewal, life, refreshment. When our every cell is thirsty, we feel as if we, like frogs, could soak in the moisture through our very pores. John the baptizer preached in the dust, but he baptized in the water. Though he wore rough skins and suffered scuffed feet, dried hands, and sun-bleached hair, John's rough life was soothed in the waters of the Jordan. We can imagine that in the water, his hands became pliant, his feet softened, his sun-glazed skin cooled. John preached repentance, and people came. People came through the dust of their lives to hear him. People woke up to their own raspy souls, stiff hands, and dry eyes. They came to him in the wilderness to find themselves, the selves they truly were, not the ones they projected or held out for others to see. They came to face the truth about themselves, to turn around and see the person God sees. Parched and worn, they walked with John into the River Jordan. They went down into the water, water that could kill as well as bring life. They went down in the water, and it moved over them as the Spirit had moved over the waters in those first moments of creation. That water cleared away their pretenses and lies, their festering wounds, and nourished them with promise. We experience healing in holy baptism, but it is our Lord who calls our name as the water washes over us. The Spirit breathes over the water that cleanses us, and the water soaks into our very pores. 
in that saving water, we are held and shaped into children of God, never to be let go. We are washed, never to be the same again. Once baptized, the scent of water will always be near. John the baptizer calls us to the water. He calls us to repent, for the reign of God is near. He calls us to the font of new birth, where we are grafted into God's branch, the root of Jesse. He calls us to the Holy Supper, where we receive forgiveness in the life-giving bread and wine, our Lord's body and blood. From this table, our risen Lord sends us forth as a people whose mission is the proclamation of God's mercy for our suffering world. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.